Hey everybody, Darius coming on. I just want to uh, come on today and pray about something that's been on my heart um, this month, last month as well. I want to pray for people going through homosexuality, um, lesbianism, or being bisexual, um, but two specific types of people. Um, for people who know that it's, who feel as though they know that it's not right and they want to follow God but just can't shake those feelings. Um, and then people who are struggling with the idea of homosexuality or lesbianism or being bisexual is wrong. They're struggling back and forth. Is it right or is it wrong? They're not sure, but they know that they want to follow God. So both types of people are pursuing to follow God. Um, and if, that's not you, and you don't want that prayer. I mean, that's totally fine. But it's just for those two specific types of people. So first, I want to say I'm not condemning you. We all were uh, in sin before Christ. Um, Luke five, Luke chapter five, verse thirty two says, "I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance." And we've all fallen short of the glory of God. So I was in my sin. People were in their sin. We all have sin. We all had different things that tied us down and held us in bondage. But John 3, 17 says, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So Jesus came to give us deliverance, to save us, to deliver us from ourselves. Um, I know I was going through a time where uh, I was heavily addicted to masturbation. And I struggled with is masturbation wrong or is it right? I, necess I didn't necessarily see a scripture or not, not say a scripture. I didn't see the word masturbation in the Bible. Um, just like the word lesbianism, bisexual, homosexuality is not in the Bible. But there are scriptures that can describe those lifestyles. There's things, um, there's scriptures that can um, lead us to what God's heart is for his original design for us to let us know, okay, this is right or this is wrong. Um, uh, I've even, I even went to a, a, a pastor and asked him, I remember as a kid, I said, uh, as a high schooler, I said, is masturbation wrong? Um, and the pastor's like, no, nah, it's just something that uh, boys do or people do. And it didn't sit right in my heart. It didn't sit right in my spirit. In my heart, I felt like, no, nah, it's that's not right. That's not, I don't, I still feel conviction from God. And it's the same for homosexuality, being bisexual or, uh, or choosing to be bisexual, choosing lesbianism. It's not right by God, but God still loves you. And he offers through him, through Jesus, deliverance. He offers us a new life, uh, a life uh, outside of our sins, uh, life free from our sins, free from the bondage of sin. So um, I also want to uh, just read this scripture, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. It says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but it's the, it's the, it's in is the death, is the way of death. So I'm going to repeat that. There is a way that seems right to a man, but it's in is the way of death. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. So I just wanted to give you guys that backdrop before I start to pray. So the first prayer is going to be for uh, those experiencing conviction of, of their lifestyle. Um, they want to follow God. They're experiencing conviction of um, a homosexual or lesbian or bisexual lifestyle. So, Lord, I just pray, God, for my brothers and my sisters that are going through this whether they're going through this openly, whether they're going through this alone, I pray for them, Jesus, that you would give them the strength to yield to your heart. Give them the strength to yield to what you're leading them, to uh, give up their um, own passions, even though it's hard, but to give up their own desires to be open to learn what is your desire for them. I God, I pray that that uh, they would not confuse conviction with condemnation. God, you're not condemning them; you're convicting them, and you're showing them what is right and what is wrong. And Lord, I just pray, Father, that you will give them the 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 
the strength, oh God, the the a yielded heart to stay in the process with you as you're molding them, as you're uh, reshaping them, as you're uh, renewing their mind, the way that they think, oh God, you're tearing down layers through their life. God, I pray that they will stay in the process, that they will not give up, that they will um, uh, just give them strength to not give up, oh God. I pray that they will thirst and hunger for righteousness, that they will desire to know you, to read your word for themselves, to personally know what you say in your word, to know Jesus in an intimate way, that they would uh, continue to pray to you, God, or that they would desire to pray to you and that you will help them by surrounding them with people who will love them, who will walk with them, to help them grow in a relationship with you so that they can know for themselves the God that they serve, oh Lord. And I pray, God, that you will uh, give them clarity in their own identity in you, their own sexuality, God, that you created them to be a man or cre created them to be a woman. I pray that they will um, not believe the lies of the enemy that the devil will say un or project unto them, either because of the things that they may have seen, the things that they may have experienced. Oh God, I pray that you will wash them with your word. You will renew their mind as they read your word, as they desire and pursue after you. God, I just pray, Lord, that, that they will uh, not get to a place where they feel so much uh, condemnation, that they just feel unloved by you, that they feel worthless, they feel too dirty to even come into your presence. I rebuke that. I rebuke that because you didn't come to condemn them. You came to give them life and life more abundantly. God, I just pray that they will not confuse your conviction with condemnation, that they will know that the best thing that they can do is to continue to chase after you, even though they may make mistakes. The best thing to do is to continue to chase after you with all their heart and know that you will meet them uh, as, as they continue to pursue you. You're going to meet them where they are. And God, I pray, Father, for those who understand that, uh, hey, my lifestyle does not please God, but I'm still battling between um, not falling into my temptations. I'm still battling um, staying pure, I'm still battling staying out of this lifestyle. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is coming to man. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Lord, I pray that you will give them strength. Give my brothers and sisters strength to remain pure. God, I pray that you'll give them godly accountability. Men and women of God who will stand with them who will pray for them, who will pray with them, who will not uh, condemn them, but who will be there bowing in their corner, God, and be able to walk with them and help them and disciple them, Father, in knowing you in a deeper way and getting that spiritual strength, giving that, putting their spiritual armor on, that they'll be able to withstand the attacks of the enemy, that they'll be able to um, fight back the lies of the devil with the truth of the gospel, the truth of your word, the scriptures in the name of Jesus. I pray for deliverance mentally, emotionally, God, even socially, that they will not have the fear of man or what man would think of them uh, or of what, uh, oh, I used to do this and, and, and I used to live this type of way. I used to date a guy and, um, as a guy. I used to uh, date a woman um, and, I, and I'm a woman and I, I lived this life before, but now I'm trying to pursue God. What will, what will my, my friends say? What will my old associates say? God, I pray that you'll give them strength, oh Lord, to not worry about what man says or what the opinion of man, that they not be moved by the opinion of man, but give them the understanding that, Lord, you're, even though they may face temptations going forward, even though they may still continue to face and battle those thoughts, that your grace is sufficient, that you will provide a way of escape for them, that you are there with them in the midst of their temptation, that you've been tempted by all by, by all temptations, oh God, that you're not a high priest that has not been touched by the things that we are battling. Lord, you understand the uh, resisting sin. You understand fighting to live holy. So God, I thank you. I thank you, uh, Lord, that you're 
being you're going to be with all my brothers and sisters who are battling this partic these particular issues. I just pray blessings over them. I pray strength over them. I love you. I love you. I love you. God loves you. And he has the power and the strength to see you through deliverance, to see you through living a lifestyle that pleases him. He has the power to break chains. He broke chains off of me. He, broke, he has broken chains off of people in the past, and he will continue to break chains off of people in the future. So God loves you. I love you. All right. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.